Have you ever had your audio muted on a Zoom call and the host suddenly asks you a question and you can't figure out how to unmute the Zoom call quick enough so that you can answer the question? <laughs> this has happened to me so many times. I have a trick for you that I'm gonna be sharing in this video to make it so much easier. One button is all you have to push and it's not even in a drop down menu, it's on your keyboard. Hello, future editing Sean here. I wanted to tell you about this fantastic nonprofit charity organization called Operation Railroad Project. I have a neighbor who owns an online children's boutique and she has a t-shirt for the Underground Railroad Project where she is donating 100% of the profits to this organization, which is fantastic. So I wanted to support her and this organization. So I have purchased a t-shirt myself. This is a pre-order. I thought you all might also be interested in helping out this nonprofit. So I'm just gonna read you a little bit about it. It says, Operation Underground Railroad paves the way for permanent eradication of child trafficking through coordinated rescue, recovery planning in the past six years of existence. I will put more information and the website of the nonprofit in the description box. I will also put the t-shirts. This is a pre-order for the t-shirts. Unfortunately, I jumped on this a little late and she is closing out orders in the next 24 hours. So if you wanna order one of these t-shirts, I will put a link to where you can order the t-shirts in the description box as well. Okay, back to my video. If we are meeting for the first time, hi, my name is Sean. Welcome on this channel. I create videos to connect people together through fun and games. So today is a little bit of a different video. On my channel, I do a lot of Zoom content specifically centered around how to have fun on Zoom through games. I have been learning that Zoom can do a lot more than I think, and there are some tips and tricks that have helped me. Up until a couple months ago, I was like the rest of you. I was unfamiliar with Zoom. I would used it occasionally for some Zoom meetings. Then the pandemic hit and we all jumped online to teach our classes and connect with our friends and family. So I thought I would share my best tips and tricks with you of things you might not know that Zoom actually does that can make your life and your Zoom call much easier. So if that sounds interesting to you, then keep watching. Let's go back to the question that I asked at the very beginning of this video, which was, have you ever been muted on your Zoom call and somebody asks you a question and you can't figure out how to unmute yourself fast enough? Well, the simple, easy solution is the space bar on your computer. Yes. Did you know you can remain unmuted and push the space bar with just your finger to unmute yourself. Oh my, this has changed the way I do Zoom calls. It's so simple, so easy, and helps you answer those questions super fast and super quick. Never again will you be caught fumbling around to unmute yourself on a Zoom call. Are you the type of person who doesn't want to speak on your Zoom call? You want to remain silent, but you still need to communicate with the other people on your Zoom call. This feature that I'm getting ready to tell you about would be perfect also to play some games with your students. If you need to mute everybody, say you have a large class, you need everybody muted because, you know, so much chatter, but you still want your students to be able to connect with you and chat with you, but you don't want to enable chat. Zoom has emojis. What? Zoom has emojis. They have things called reactions. If you are the host, you will need to enable the nonverbal feedback function in order for this to work. All your guests will need to do is click on the reactions tab at the bottom right of your screen. It's in the same panel as the mute audio and video functions. And then just choose the reaction or emoji that you want. The emoji will disappear after five seconds, so take note of that. So this will allow your participants to place an icon such as a raised hand emoji to the right of their name and then you'll know that they have a question or they have the correct answer to the game. There are endless possibilities with this function. <laughs> this next one. Have you ever hopped on a Zoom call and you're like, where is everybody? Why can I only see like six people or 20 people? Why, why can I only see a certain limited number of people on my screen? screen? Where did everybody go? It says there are over 200 people on this call, but I'm only seeing 
what's directly on my screen. Where did everybody go? So have you ever been in a small room, say you've got like five or six people and you're in a room and there's a big curtain on one wall and somebody has to go to the bathroom. So they go towards the curtain, they push the curtain back and then boom, all of a sudden, whoa, you are actually in a small theater that will seat 49 people. And you can see everybody at one time, everybody is joining the call, you can see everybody who is present. This is what gallery view is like. Gallery view exists if you want to see every person on your call. This is a great way to take a group photo of everybody waving. This is your opportunity to do that. Gallery view is great if you have 49 people or less. If you have more than that, you'll have multiple pages that you'll need to scroll through to see everybody. What is up with the people on the Zoom call who don't want to show their face? They just have a blank screen on their face. They don't want to show you that they haven't cleaned up their background behind them. They don't want to show you that they got kids running around and playing. By the way, mine's right over there playing with some blocks. And what happens on those Zoom calls where only the people who are speaking show their face? <laughs> so you've got like the host and whoever the host has brought on their guests to speak to all the, all the participants and everybody else is a blank screen. Have you ever had that instance where you just hear this mysterious voice talking on the screen? Ethel, Ethel, is that you? <laughs> Ethel, we can't see your face, we can't see your face. It's just a blank screen and it doesn't show Ethel's name, no, it just shows their, you know, their grandson's name. They're using their grandson's device to do a Zoom call or their son's device and it doesn't even show Ethel's, Ethel, are you there, Ethel? We can't see you. You don't have your, your, your visual, your video is not on and poor, or Ethel, she's, she's trying to communicate with you and she just can't. And then you spend 10 minutes trying to figure out how to get Ethel, how to help Ethel turn her video on, on the screen, but you can't see her and it's hard to talk to a person that you can't see on screen. Does that ever happened? No, no, just me, just, just me. And then you realize that only two people wanted to put on nice professional shirts for your meeting. The rest, everybody else are in their PJs and you know, somebody hasn't combed their hair, somebody hasn't put makeup on. We'll talk about a feature that will help with that in just a minute. And <clears throat> so most of your call is blank screens. How do you get rid of those blank screens, blank screens and actually do your presentation, teach your class seeing people's faces? Zoom has a feature for that. Did you know you can hide non-video participants? <laughs> this is a great feature for hiding all of those participants with a blank screen who don't want to show their face. To achieve this, you're going to go to settings and then video and then meetings, and then you're going to click hide non-video participants. It's as easy as that. Now you'll only be distracted by your coworkers, pets, and children who are actually showing their faces. Be too lazy to put on makeup. <laughs> Some days I don't want to put on makeup, but I do for you because it looks better on camera. Some days I just don't want to do that. There's a filter for that. Yes, some of you may already know about this filter and utilize it. If you do, let me know in the comment section down below. Do you utilize the filter for your face to make it look like you have skin smoothing properties. It'll get rid of your wrinkles. It'll kind of touch up here and there, make you look prettier as though you were wearing makeup. Now it won't add mascara to your eyes, it won't put on lipstick, but you do get a skin smoothing effect. Yes, a beauty mode exists. Do you have a zit that decided to make a grand appearance on your face in the middle of that meeting or right when you're about to teach a class? But have no fear, beauty no mode, mode is here. here. You can use Zoom's Touch Up My Appearance Filter. It will make you look dewy and well rested. If you've ever used the beauty mode on your iPhone's selfie feature, you know what I'm talking about. To turn it on, click the up arrow next to the start video. Click video settings and under my video, check the box for touch up my appearance. Now you no longer have to worry about those pesky wrinkles. They are gone or at least smoothed out a little. Did you know that you can record your entire Zoom call? Yes. This is great for those of you who need to take notes. This is great for if you need to refer back to your Zoom call. This is great for those of you who need to practice your online presentation skills. This is great if you need to look to see who actually attended your Zoom class. Recording your Zoom call can only be done on your desktop. Unfortunately, it can't be done on your phone, but it can be done 
free and not on the paid version. You do not need the paid version to record your Zoom call. To enable local recording, you're gonna to go to your settings, go to recording and toggle it on. When you're hosting a Zoom meeting, click the record icon on the bottom of the toolbar. It's that easy. It will record your whole entire Zoom call. There is one thing I should make a note of is that it will save it to your desktop. So please note that video files are large. So make sure that you have enough space on your computer if you're doing this. If you do the paid version the of Zoom, Zoom will store your Zoom recordings up to a certain number of gigabytes. It's time for a bonus tip. It's time for a bonus tip. Bonus tip time. Bonus tip time. I don't know what that was. Did you know that you can stream directly to YouTube or Facebook from Zoom? The only bad thing is you have to have a paid account. You have to have a pro account or higher. It does not happen on the, on the free version. I only have the free version, so I haven't actually done this, but I looked it up because I was wondering, how are people streaming directly from Zoom? Well, because Zoom offers that to you with a pro or higher account. Pretty cool though that you can stream your entire Zoom call straight to Facebook or YouTube. All right, let me know which of these tips did you not know? Did you learn something new? I mean, that was the whole point of this video was to offer you something new that can up your teaching game for your students. It can up your business meeting. It can take your time with your family and your friends to the next level. Love to hear your response to this video as it was a little bit different of a video from my normal content. I'm sure the next video I put out will have something to do with Zoom games. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.